I heard that Little Richard, uh, which is m another one of my idols, black guy, and as far as I'm concerned, it was a rocker, rock and roll black guy. Put his foot up on the piano and be playing, but they get it, get it, get it, get it. Good golly, man, it's Molly, you know. Sure like the ball. Woo! I went to see him at the tower, and then after that, ended up in the dressing room. I found myself in a corner with a couple of other guys, you know. And this guy went, oh, all right, then, uh, what are you doing here, like? And I, I said, um, I've come to see little Richard, he's great in here and stuff like that. And I went, what are you doing here? So said, oh, we've been on. Discovered that, like, it's John Lennon and uh, Paul McCartney I'm talking to. They said, well, don't you play anything? And I went, no, but I've got a group. I've got a group. And he went, you've got a group? And I said, yeah. He said, well, what do you play? I went, we don't play anything, we just sing. I went, I mean, he's in a group. Said, uh, five of us. Paul said, um, look, come down to Cavern on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, and uh, we'll have a listen to you if you want to bring your group down. We went, walked downtown. We didn't know who the Beatles were. About five, five black guys all of a sudden appeared in at the Cavern. You know? <laughs> And as soon as you got in there, Duke, 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 Duke of Earl, Duke, Duke, Duke of Earl, Duke, Duke, Duke of Earl, Duke, Duke. And the Beatles were like, whoa. Bob Waller runs up and says, I've just been on the phone to Brian. Brian cannot come over, but don't speak to anybody and don't sign any papers with anybody and he'll see you tonight. And, and John says, well, might as well do some numbers with us as well, you know. I could ride.